With a kind gesture, a group of local community members have lifted the spirits of 100 Foley cancer patients. These chemo patients received free care packages put together by people who know the burden of cancer. Like many of us, the battle against cancer is personal for Jennifer Larson. She lost her father to colon cancer in 1997. Since then, Jennifer has made it her mission to show her appreciation for the Foley Cancer Center nurses and support those who are receiving treatment. After suggesting the idea over social media, she was overwhelmed with the response. I think within the first 10 minutes, I had 15 or 20 people saying, oh my gosh, count me in, I'm so in. So what happened was we came up with these packages, these care packages. They have um, four um, spa, like a hydrating product for the chemo patients and um, we wanted to package them with nice fluffy socks and kind of a love note and people could sponsor them. Um, and I took no profit from this. Um, basically, I ordered them. Um, the people really, my friends and family donated them. I mean, some people donated them in lieu of, you know, one girl ordered 10 and said, you know, this is my gift to myself this Christmas season. Jennifer says the support from the community was amazing, successfully creating over 100 care packages. So we put together 116 today. So 116 um, chemotherapy patients at Rutland Regional Medical Center and the Foley Cancer Center will be getting these. Um, I wish that we didn't have to do any. I, I wish that this wasn't even a thing. You know, I wish cancer wasn't a thing. I wish. People didn't have to go through chemotherapy, um, but if they do, um, then maybe just a little pick-me-up and something to let them know that somebody outside of their warm circle is thinking of them and, and praying for them. Meredith Raymond and her young daughter immediately volunteered to help when they heard about the opportunity. I am a widow. My husband passed away about a year and a half ago from multiple myeloma at the age of 40. Um, when I saw Jen's post, Jen and I were acquainted through my husband, so when I saw her post on Facebook, it just hit home, sent her a message immediately, said my check's in the mail, tell me what I can do. So it's, it's a wonderful cause, being able to put packages together. Um, I know firsthand what the patient goes through as far as dry skin and just needing comfort when they're going through chemo treatments. Um, everybody's chemo cycles are so different. Um, most that are seen at Foley Cancer Center here at Rutland Regional Medical Center, um, they are outpatient. So they come in, receive chemo treatment during the day, and then they go home. And you do, you get dry skin, you get worn down, you get fatigued, and dry lips especially. Um, so I think it's very important to be able to nurture them in whatever way we can. Meredith and Jennifer both expressed their gratitude to live in such a supportive community. Although there isn't a cure yet, every effort of support counts. I think we're at a, in a very supportive community and I think it's important for everyone to know everyone's going through something and everyone has somebody in their lives, themselves, family members that are battling cancer. Um, and it's, it's a very emotional battle and I just think it's very important to know everyone, kind words even help tremendously and anything you can do, no matter how small, I mean, do what you can for others because it's all about being human and kind to each other.